Yo, what's going on out there? How is everybody? Hope you're having a great and wonderful day. Um, so I'm just sitting in the car chilling, you know, doing my work and thing and whatnot. But I just wanted to ask everybody, when did it become okay or a good thing to be ratchet? Like, why are everybody so pumped to be hood? Like, I know why some people, you know what I mean, who never been to the hood are pumped to be hood because they want to be tough and gangster and all of that. But why is everybody so pumped to be ratchet, man? Like, like, you know what I mean? Why, why, why are you so happy to act like you the toughest thing out there? Be hood. A real gangster will tell you it's not cool to be gangster at all, at all. Nobody out here is being gangster because they want to. The only reason people out here being gangsters is because they need to provide for their family, man. Period. Nobody out there selling drugs on the street is doing it just because they felt like one day they was going to wake up and go sell drugs. They probably got started because a homeboy was doing it. Said, oh, man, you know what? He getting money. I want to get some money, too. I got to take care of the family. And then, boom, they out there doing it. Now it's all they know. It's all they care about. You know what I mean? Except for family. But, I mean, for the main part, that's the reason they doing it is family. So I just wanted to ask everybody, like, when did it become cool to be ratchet? And another thing, if you still saying nigga in 2017, you are simple. I'm not going to say you stupid. I'm not going to say you retarded. I'm not going to say you're an idiot or you're ignorant. I'll just say that you're simple because you're not allowing yourself to understand that continuously using the word nigga is not doing anything for you period another thing check this out there's a lot of like negative connotations on the word black i don't know when it all started i don't know if it's always been like that i'm not really about to do the whole research behind it i just think it's a little weird if you think about back in like you know what i mean when when what was it when Marcus Garvey was out, for example, he was doing the whole Black is Proud thing. That was a long time ago. What, 50, 60 years ago, something like that. 70 years ago, whatever it was. Um, nowadays, you got terms like Black Ice is a bad thing. Uh, uh, black male is a bad thing. Right? Like, like, why is it okay to tell a little white lie? But... It's not cool to black blackmail somebody. Why is it called blackmail? I don't get that. Black ice is not even black. It's never been black. It's actually clear ice. It shouldn't be called black ice because it's on a road. Because the road is black. It should be called clear ice. And it just looks black when it's on a black road. Because guess what? You get clear ice on the sidewalk and it's not black. It's clear. Like water. It's just a lot of simple stuff, man. It's just like, come on, really? Think about that. Like, we got to, as people, we got to, we have to, we got to stop leaving all this negativity in our lives, and we got to stop inviting the bull crap in. Stop letting in stupidness, please. Get over that. You can do so much better. You are so much better. Period. There's greatness inside of you, inside of each and every one of you. There really is. I hope you believe it. I believe it, even if I don't know you. I know for a fact that you got greatness inside of you because you were made by a person, or not by a person, you were made by God who obviously had great things in mind when he made you. 